Oh, good morning. Um, so this time last week I uh, released the, uh, the peacock butterflies um, and now you know, it all seems quiet. We've got a budlier there which is attracting some of the peacock butterflies and, and other butterflies back including uh, Comet and Red Admiral. Um, a couple of weeks ago I noticed um, just over here where the sting nettle plants are, what's left of them anyway. Um, it's a fine time for an aircraft to fly over. Here you go. Um, I noticed last week on the sting there was uh, some um, butterflies, in particular Red Admiral, you know, fluttering around. You now, typical signs of a female trying to find a spot to lay eggs. And um, so this morning I thought I'd just take a look over to see, um, you know, what's anything's over there. You know, initially like looks like there's nothing there at all. It's uh, but uh, on a closer inspection, you know. Uh, well, it will be revealed anyway, so I'm just going to take a walk over to it now and take a look at the plants. Right, let's go, let's walk over to the, uh, the potted nettle plants, where I said last week, or actually it wasn't last week, it was about 10 days ago, I saw um, a more butterfly flitting around, for want of a better word. So initial inspection, you'd think to yourself, nothing's going on here at all. But there are a couple of clues on here. The first one being this here. That's a typical sign of a the nettle being devoured by a caterpillar or caterpillars. Um, another sign is typical of red admiral caterpillars is uh, they make these form these small tents. They fold the nettles round leaves with silk, and they um, basically live in there and come out just just to feed. Um, so we look even closer, you can actually see some caterpillars. Um, so where did I, I did very, very closely. Obviously I'm not looking closely enough. I mean look at the, the leaves here have been shred right back. Oh we're not fold it back there. There we go. That is in fact let's get the camera out again. Need more cameras here. That is a comma butterfly caterpillar. I mean, it's quite you know I'm not an expert by a long shot but my knowledge is quite limited, but I know for a fact that it's a common caterpillar. So I'll leave him be. Um, I'm still trying to find a possible Red Admiral, Red Admiral caterpillar. Oh, this is a bit of hand over here. Nope, that's not one. There must be something some quite large caterpillars here because the way the leaves have been devoured. Uh, I don't want to disturb them obviously. It doesn't help me not having my glasses on. <laughs> oh, here we go. Here we go. That's Red Admiral Caterpillar. I've got a big bugger as well. As I said here, you know, they tend to uh, live in these tents, so form with the, the leaves folded back. Let's see if we can find another example of the, the leaves that have been folded back to make a tent. Um, just step over here. Nothing's jumping out yet as such. I think it's a little bit... A bit it's a bit early days yet. I mean, the caterpillars are, um, you know, to be quite honest, I did look earlier, um, actually yesterday, and there was quite a few to be seen, but it's, they hide themselves so well. I don't want to put around too much. I don't want to disturb them. So even for the sake of making this video, I just don't want to compromise their well-being. So I'm not going to put around too much. But I just like to try and find the, where they have more caterpillar. I'm just going to go and get my glasses. That might help. <laughs> Let's 
right. Let's have a. I've had a blokey look. Let's have a, let's have a proper look now, shall we? Unless the, unless the caterpillar or caterpillars have wandered off. Going by the look of these leaves, it must be saying, oh, what's that over about there? I don't... No, that, that will be a dead leaf then. <laughs> Not too much joy here. Ah, oh, yeah, here we go. Here we go. Just there. We'd add more caterpillar. Yep. That's the one. So yes, what initially looks like pretty lifeless potted nettles, uh, you know, there's you know, something going on there. So hopefully, you know, I mean, uh, hopefully they'll come to something. We we'll have to see. It'll be a few weeks yet if they do. I'm not going to cage these up. I'll leave these, leave these, these open up. But well, the apple caterpillars don't tend to wander. Um, Small tortoise shells and, and peacocks tend to wander out. Looking over here, look, there's some droppings here. And what I mentioned on about the tent being formed just there. Yes, and in, the, in that tent, I'm just going to grab my phone camera. What I was saying earlier on about here, and the way the uh, red more caterpillars form these tents, there's one there. So if I just gently turn it around, you see the droppings on the as well, that, that was a clue. I don't want to disturb it. Within there, snug is the um, Red Admiral, Red Admiral uh, Caterpillar. Um, this phone comes in, everyone drops a focus here. Well yeah, that's it. So yeah, again the first clue was up was the droppings on the that leaf there. This camera's not focusing, but focusing very well at all, sorry about this. Uh, yeah, so we'll leave it at that reading. So there's a few things going on here. I spotted a, a few caterpillars, um, two red admirals and a, and, and a couple of uh, comma butterflies, uh, caterpillars. So no doubt there's many more in there which I've missed. Got this plant here again. These are all new shoots. These these these, are, these are, that was started to grow again after being devoured by the um, the peacock uh, caterpillars a few weeks ago. I had a heck of a job trying to keep up with their insatiable ap appetite. In the end, I had to, um, you know, collect nettles, nettles from um, up the road where I live um, to keep them well fed. Because uh, it has to be the remnants of the, the nettle plants. There's all the new growth coming through here, not from the nettles. So once I get me, and there's already the the, the, the remnants of the um, this is where the peacock hatched out last week. Looking rather, but that's it. So, just you know, just uh, the purpose of the video is you know, is that you know, and it's things going on that you might not you always realize, you know, and uh, you know, just take a sort of closer look sometimes. And there are clues there, so that, you know, that, 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 that you know, things are happening that you may not normally know about as regards caterpillars, anyway. So. That's it. You know, I never make a great presenter, I know, but I just hope this has become, you know, the video has, uh, you know, been some of some entertainment value, that's all. There's a bud there. Right. Whoop. There you go. So the weather's not very nice, but normally you get plenty of butterflies on there. So that's it. So that's, so that's, it, that's it, basically. Um, you know, I just wanted to show the... Um, uh, the potted nettles and uh, you know what's living on them. You know, like looking at it now, you look across, you think there's nothing going there whatsoever. But you know, it's quite amazing, really. Um, so you can, you know, it just demonstrates with anything else that um, you know how well these caterpillars, you know, manage to um, go on about their business. You know, undetected most of the time. I mean, these plants, you know, there's only, there's only a few. Out in the wild, we've got thousands of nettles. Like, trying to find a even some like me is a bit, you know, a bit sort of, obviously not an expert at all, but, you know, I'm by, made my eyes a bit more akin to, you know, to spotting these sort of things. But I can, I can, all the years I've been doing this, I've never ever spotted a, um, uh, a Red Admiral caterpillar, you know, um, in the wild yet. 
tortoiseshells and peacocks easy because the cat caterpillars are in clusters. You know, you've got to be. It's not easy. Sorry, it's not difficult to you know to spot them. But individual caterpillars like red admirals or paddy ladies, you know, to spot them in the wild, you know, is um, I've never managed to do it anyway. Not I spent a lot of my time trying to do it, but you know. So anyway, I hope you um, found a video of, of some interest. You know, and not too boring. I hope. Okay. Take care. Thank you.